Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and this is Code Now. <laughs> it is a daily stream of awesome proportions where I come in here, and basically, it's th the stream is for you guys, but it's also for me, so I have time that I can learn and do coding and awesomeness and all that good stuff. Oh my goodness. Okay. Hello. 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 Okay. Hi, Nick. You were first. Uh, o Rising Gamer. Uh, the Combat Cat. NASA is Illuminati. Nice. Uh, sea Dog. The Troll Face. Uh, Kaya. K Kai. Maybe Kaya. Tristan. Nick. Uh, Taylor. DJ. Uh, all kinds of good people. Hello. Code Seven have two lives. Mmm. I'm, I'm not Code Seven. Uh, over here in the UNAL. First one was Chanel the King. Hey, first. And then it was Annoying. And then it was uh, you now a person is watching you. <laughs> nice. Thank you for the, the snaps and the things. And the, oh my goodness. Code. Hey, Code, you are cool. I'm, I'm actually pretty dorkish and nerdy, but that's cool. Thank you. <laughs> if nerd is the new cool, then... I am amazingly cool. <clears throat> oh, the spin doesn't work? Oh, no. Has it been 24 hours? It, it might refresh during the stream. Um, I am late getting started. Normally, I do this about 30 minutes prior, but tonight we had Girl Scouts. And as I always say, family first. So whenever we got back, uh, we actually stopped off and we got some ice cream. We had a hot fudge sundae with extra hot fudge. And I picked up a coffee for Mama. And then I made my own coffee. And so I'm taking my time. I hope you guys are okay with that. Code, you are the best. Oh, no, you guys are the best. Because you're actually here with me. Awesomeness. Uh, by the way, if it is your bedtime, please do not stay up to watch my stream. It will be recorded. It'll be here for you in the morning. If it is your breakfast time and you're just getting finished and it's time for you to go to school, go to school. I'll be here when you get back. All right? Um, make sure you take care of your real life stuff before coming to the streams. And the, I always say that. Always say that. <clears throat> so. Uh, cooking anime and friends and Robux. Ro robots. Ro robots? Robot on robot you forgot uh l oh it's an autocorrect i'm sorry okay um yesterday when we left off let's pop back over here into studio oh you guys can't see studio can you hold on let's go back over to the scene turn off the window capture fade that out when we left off i was trying to get data to save i was over here doing something but there was no objects Oh, it was all abstract. So let's go over to the server storage player module and let's go to script. So we're actually going to rename this as the load save script. Uh, Ro Roblox does not like slashes. So just load underscore save. So load save. Okay. Uh, and we were working with tokens and fish. We can kill that. Uh, can you play Roblox and we can join you? No, not tonight. Um, the, the one that you guys can join me on is on Fridays and on Saturdays. And that's because you guys can stay up later or you don't have school on those days. So then you can join me in the mornings. So that's why. <sighs> hey, if it's 3 PM in the afternoon and you've got no school, congratulations. You're like, that's good. Well, I almost said something. Else. That is a good thing because you're just chilling, hanging out. School's over. Not time for sleep. In between uh, lunch and dinners, supper. Um, read this. I can't read that. I don't. I don't read. Is it Russian? Um. Hold on. Um, hmm. I, I can't read it. 
Does it, it says, I'm something. Does it say I'm the best? Is that what it says? I'm, I'm the best. Not sure. Sorry, dude. Um, my Russian is a little, little rusty. I can't, I can't read Russian. I'm sorry. Code, can you show us how to make a game intro, please? Nope. Well, I don't know how to make an intro. <laughs> Actually, um, it's really not too hard. Let's go back over here to the labs. So what you would do is you would add in a screen GUI for first, and you would make it where that screen GUI does not come back on during respawn, but it's a one-time shot for a screen GUI. Uh, you would make a background, you would make an intro, stuff like that. Um, hold on, starter GUI. So here's the screen GUI, and if we were to add some things to it, um, let's see. Hold on, screen GUI. We would want to add another. That's not what I'm doing tonight. I'm doing save data. Save data. Ah, oh, code, you're so... It's not GUI, it's G-U-I. GUI. It, it's a GUI. It's better than the same WYSIWYG. What you see is what you get. It's like the same thing like uh, SQL is not called SQL. Yeah, it is. You can call it SQL. How old are you, please? That is some personal information, sir or ma'am. Actually, it's 35. I'm 35 years old. You can check it out on famousbirthdays.com. <laughs> I was tickled pink when somebody showed me that. Uh, famous birthdays. Uh, if you do happen to go over to famous birthdays, go ahead and click that button. Anyhow, this is ugh. all right. This is code now, and it's for everyone from young to old. It's for sons and daughters and dads and moms and grandpas and grandmas and in your dog spot. It's for everyone. Let's do this. Okay, so this is the load save script itself. Um, right here, local stat manager is requiring game server storage server stat manager. So we actually have a module script in here called server uh, player stat manager. So what this statement says, it says, hey, I need to use the things out of this script. If we head over to this script, we can see local player manager is returned blank. Ouch. And then we have data store service equals game, and then a function called get service, data store service. Uh, and then we have another variable player data equals data store service, get data store player data. Hmm. Doesn't it have to be like a unique ID of some kind? Do we do that down here anywhere? I think it does it later on. Okay. Uh, and then we have uh, a variable called auto save underscore interval, and it is set to 60. So that means that every 60 seconds, we're going to be using that. Uh, data store retries. The amount of tries, retries that we can do are three. And then session data equals blank table to hold all the player information in the current session uh, function the other scripts in our game can call to change the player stats so um, one of the functions that you can have is player stat manager change stat which says player stat name and value um, and that does session data player so it references the session data for that player and says change this stat name to the value of play that same value plus the change value. So like if this were code primate and 37, or code primate and fish equals 37. If my current value is 37, then this says session data uh, code primate um, fish, which is the value would be 37 plus the change value. So if the change value was three, it would be plus three. So 37 plus three, and then assign that to the new status. <clears throat> and then we have here, local function. Function is data store retry. This function is used to retry past several times. If the past, if the past in function is unable to run, uh, then this function returns false and creates an error, error. There we go, so that we can get an error back. 
Hello, Edward. That was a big Ed Edward. Nice and peaceful. <laughs> Why is that not showing up? Oh, there it is. Bra. He is. Yes, he is. Code is the best in the world. Even, even space. Envy everywhere. At every space and everywhere. <laughs> oh, thank you. Uh, redfish, bluefish, then codefish. <laughs> redfish, bluefish. Young fish, new fish. Or old fish, new fish. This fish has a little star. Oh, how many fish there are. <laughs> All right, let's go. If not success, then... Okay, sorry. Let's start over up here at the top. Local tries equals zero. So this whole thing right here is a function. Inside this function, we're going to set three variables. The first one is tries to set to zero. Success is currently true. Data equals nil. And this says do this until tries is equal to data store retries or success. Tries equals data store tries or success. Success equals p call, which basically means like a processed call. Um, if you didn't have p call in there and it failed, it would stop the entire script. When you're doing a p call, the, it can fail whatever's inside here. Oops, or er, scrape. It can f like all this could fail and then be okay. It's it's like a try catch. Um, p call will return either fail or zero or success. So false or true. If not success, wait one second, end. So if it was not successful on the first try, hey, wait a second and we'll try it again. And then it comes down here, try it until tries equals blah, blah, blah. So if not successful after three tries, then um, spit out an error, could not access the data store, warn the player that their data may not get saved and then return success so either fail or pass and the data um data store function end function data equals data store function in it's a bit weird okay i don't think that's the correct way to call it function to retrieve players data from the data store function get data player return data store retry function return okay what, 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 what's going on here local function so this okay this is a function of the of what I guess it's just a function it's declaring a function are we in, we're in the stat manager <clears throat> so we can do get player data and save player data return player data okay uh, what else we got here set up player data player and then function autosave which says while autosave interval uh, wait while wait our autosave function interval um, sorry 60 seconds while 60 seconds do uh, for each player uh, comma data in pairs session data do print saving save player data player so here's some meat and potatoes of what all this stuff was being declared up here at the top <clears throat> basically this uh, this is probably getting saved okay start running the autosave function in the background spawn autosave so this calls this function this function is already set up with the other functions up top and starts running every 60 seconds bind the setup player to player add to call when a player joins <clears throat> so um, when game starts or actually when a player is added we want to connect the function set up player data if they don't have anything it'll create something if they already have something it will retrieve that something that was declared up here in the setup player data uh, right here setup player data right there Boom. and then it'll return it to us and then call save data removing. I'm sorry, I just realized um, 
<laughs> you didn't get any notifications for the live stream. That's okay. I think something is wrong, seriously wrong, with the uh, notifications to my live stream. Uh, to everything, actually. Oh, thank you. Captured this moment. Yay! <laughs> numbers, numbers, numbers. Business. Is this working? Yay! <laughs> yeah, rip YouTube. That's okay. Um, because the notifications haven't been firing off, like my subscriber count, like my daily increase in subscriber count has gone. Ugh, and I'm like, whoa, nobody knows that they're coming out. People have been saying, when are you going to post a video? I'm like, I did like every day for the last week. Did you guys get it? So I don't know what's going on. It will be back in October. Yeah, it probably will. We've got, uh, we've got a whole bunch of lumber stuff to do in October. Hello. I keep getting Snapchats all over the place. By the way, I do have Snapchat. You can look me up in there. And yes, if you add me, I will add you back and just don't call. Like you can Snapchat and say, hello, is this the code prime mate? Yes, it is. Awesomeness. Thank you. So it happens. Um, game players removing. Oh, 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 look at that. So here's where a player gets added. Here's where a player gets removed. So if game players, thank you for adding me on Snapchat, uh, connect function player. So this actually fires off a function inside of it. Instead of calling a function, it just says, hey, do this. Um, function player, save player data player, and then session data player equals nil. So that removes that table. So imagine session data is our big table, okay? For each row, the player name appears. And for each column, fish and tokens, the value of those appears, okay? So when a player gets removed, we need to go down through here and find this whole row and just make it nil or delete it out. That way we don't get a whole bunch of people inside our data saving all the time. And then uh, start running auto save function in the background, spawn, uh, and then return that. Hmm. Return not. Okay, let's hit play. Let's see what happens. Oh, I need to see the um, output. So, could not access the data store. Warn players that the data may not be saved. All right, so let's kill this for a second. I'm only gonna do this on camera. Uh, let's go up to workspace and archivable set to true, filtering enabled, unchecked. Whew. That is a horrible thing. I'm not gonna leave it like that, by the way. I'm gonna go ahead and hit play. I'm gonna check that output window again. Output window. No, it still didn't like the save. How do I get it to stick? There you go. Um, servers then cannot access the data store. Warn the players that the data may not be saved. So this is not working, even with filtering enabled and non-filtering enabled. I hope a skull. What? Oh, <laughs> you're talking about the presence inside Lumber Tycoon 2. Yes, that would be amazing. <clears throat> Wait, G-Dad's here? G-Dad! Welcome, G-Dad. He's over in the U now. If you guys don't know what U now is, you need to go check it out. Uh, some of your, your applications won't work because of the sound and stuff like that. In fact, my, um, my face is probably way off to the side here. Let me correct that for a second. Hello! Sorry you guys couldn't see me earlier. Now you should be able to see me. Um, you're probably only seeing like half of the screen though, so kind of a trade-off. Um, if you're over in YouTube, thank you for being there. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. If you're in you now, don't forget to hit that fan button, that share button, and that, that capture moment button. Yay, now I see code. <laughs> Thanks, J-Man. Appreciate it. Not until after the stream, Kelly. Uh, code, I tipped 500 bars. 500 bars from Pure Gaming. <laughs> 500 bars from Pure Gaming. It's a Flint Flintstone suit. For building bones and growing. 
Okay, so let's just fly around here. What am I doing? What am I doing? Because the um, save function on this is not working. I know what I will do. I'm going to load up my um, my sitting room. Come here, sitting room. So we're going to have to close this. Did that close? There, that closed. And let's load up my sitting room. Edit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'll just show you what I did in here. Um, by the way, huge shout out to Alvin Blocks. If you do not know who Alvin Blocks is, go check him out. He is an amazing developer, huge programmer, has a channel of his own. But if you've ever wanted to learn anything about Roblox scripting, Lua scripting, stuff like that, he, he's your guy. Go to him. Whenever I get stuck on things, I actually ask him for, uh, or I go check out his channel first to see if he's got anything. And then I ask his opinion on things. So, huge. What am I doing? Why did I come over here again? Oh, data save, data save. Oh, gosh. Server storage, nothing. Uh, alpha Axe, Beta Axe, Lantern, Rookie Axe. Yes, you are seeing behind the scenes things. Code, you are cute. Thank you, Lettuce is Legos. Lettuce loves Legos. And let's go here. Uh, oh, hey, Fusion. Hey, Fusion. What's up, buddy? And then, uh, okay, let's close that. You don't need to see the secret stuff that's in there. Here's my load save data. So, uh, there may be a better way to do this, but I'm using what Alvin Blocks uses in his example. Oh my goodness, I even mentioned him right there. Awesome. So, uh, local DS server and service equals game get service data store service. Isn't that what we used just a second ago? And then we can just call it anything. That's code primate sitting room. And then this comes down, load player, unique key, blah, blah, asynchronous. Oh, okay. So this is actually doing something different. So it, does, it doesn't matter. There's no intervals to save. There is no autosave. It just saves. Okay. I like it. Copy. Um, do we have a leaderboard of some kind? Player dot leader stats gold value so for all you exploiters out there that were looking for the values to change player leader stats gold value just in case it's still filtering enabled good luck just kidding don't exploit games it's horrible I shouldn't even said that what were you thinking code oops accidentally typed a another thing in there leader stats dot name Last login equals parent equals leader stats. Okay, so this is actually creating uh, leader stats equals instance dot new int value player. So leader stats gets attached to the player. Gold value is an int value. Last login is an int value. <clears throat> okay. Copy this, delete that. Jimmy, don't insult people. And let's go back over here. <laughs> yeah, you thought I wasn't watching the chat, Jimmy. I watched you, I saw you. All right, close that. And back over to Code Primate Labs, glorious. <laughs> Watch your Snapchat code. It's uh, Code Primate. Hello, Grammy. Grammy plays. You are never late. Grammy, you arrive exactly when you need to. Nobody's ever late. Nobody ever is late. Okay. So I'm going to get rid of this whole example over here because this is a horrible example. Just delete. 
delete gone, and then server script load save. We're going to place this all in here. Paste. I don't like the uh, gold value though. Never cared for the gold gold value standard. Let's close that. All right, we're going to call this tokens. We're going to call this fish. Okay, so that's going to be a new ins value. Leader stats. Gold value is going to change to. Okay, let's do copy. And then we're just going to do control H. Anywhere where it says gold value, we're going to change to tokens with a capital, capital T. And is that the replace all button? Yep, that's replace all. There we go. So anywhere where that was at, it's now been changed. And last login, copy, we're going to change to fish, capital F, fish, Boink. done. Okay, so that should save. Now if we F5, hope it doesn't break, mm, yay, uh oh. It says gold. Why does it say gold? It shouldn't say gold. Stop. Let's go back over here. Ah, uh, there it is. Tokens.name equals gold. We're going to change that to tokens. Save. Uh, Leaders.name equals fish. F5. There we are. Now we have tokens. Yay! Tokens for everyone. So what do we do with that tokens? We are going to have to increase that token somehow. So, let's hit stop. Um, let's put a little thing here. We've got to do a thing with a thing. I'm going to throw down a sphere. Why not? Um, let's go to scale. Ooh, that did not work. Why did that? No, I just want to squish one side, not the whole thing. Hold on. Why is it? Okay, delete that part. <laughs> Let's go back over to cylinder. Yeah, cylinder work. Let's close that. Bring this up. Bring this over like that. That look about right? Yeah, that's kind of cool. Let's change its material up a little bit. Material is going to be made of ice. No, not ice. Where's foil? Do we still have foil as one of our options? Oh, yay. I don't like it. Don't like it one bit. Okay. But what if we added a, um, here. I'm going to rename this as token. And we're going to insert object. What do we want to insert? We want to insert a texture, texture on this side. And that texture is going to be Do I not have any textures uploaded or anything? <clears throat> oh, I, yes, I'm making a, uh, this is Code Primate Labs. Welcome to Code Primate Labs. Literally, it's this little area where I am going to experiment and play with Roblox Lua scripting and building and things. So, um, the reason, I make videos at nighttime after the kids have gone to bed, after, the whole day is done and I never get any time to learn scripting or do Roblox things. Um, I did a series there for a little bit and I just ran out of time. So I'm doing th these lives at nighttime as kind of a way to force me to come in here and do scripting, to do building and to get better at the programming and the scripts. So eventually I hope to make games. Um, I've made a couple of little ones in the past, but that was just going off tutorials and stuff. And I, I love tutorials, but I can't learn off tutorials. I have to be a hands-on kind of person. So, and I get very distracted very easily. What was I going to do? There was something, hold on. Let's throw that over there for a second. I'm going to throw you to the Roblox API for just a moment while I look for an image. Mm, okay. Let's go ahead and add an image. Choose a file. And I'm going to choose my face. 
I always feel like somebody's watching me. Wow, that was <clears throat> horrible. <clears throat> I always feel like somebody's watching me. 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 No, that's horrible. I, I should stop while I'm ahead. <laughs> there we go. Haskins Transparent 2 Body Remake with Just Head, PNG. Glorious. Hopefully it's not too big. Alright, uh, I'm just going to call it Code's Face. Code's Face. There we go. Oops. Code's Face. Create. There it goes. Failed to create image. Make sure that what you're uploading is an image. It is. It is completely an image, I promise. Maybe because it's like named really long or something. Hmm. It does not like that file. Why does it not like that file? Okay, let's try again. Um, where's codes? Just codes face. I'm going to do a copy. Right click. And is there an image resizer? Image resizer? No, there is not. I can't do an image resize. Okay. Create. Go. Go. Do it. Okay, I might have to start up GIMP. Didn't like it. Okay, I'm sorry. Sorry that the file's too big for you. Roblox, my bad. Okay, let's try, um, ooh, let's do Diggy Dug. Dig Dug. I didn't have his face loaded up here. And we're just gonna call it Dig Dug Plays Logo. Create. Come on. Failed to create image. Upload failed. Make sure what you're uploading is an image. PNG is allowed to be uploaded. Is that correct? That's a correct statement, right? Cancel. Cancel. You're taking too long, code. All right. Um, let's go find a transparency background thingy. Uh, okay. Switch back over to the OBS. Turn off the API and fade. There we go. So you guys can see again. You donated 500 bars. I missed it. But it says it up there at the top. So I can sing it. Thank you, the unicorn girl. 1549. For donating 500 bars. Thank you. There's others that have been donating and doing kind of things. So thank you to everyone who's been doing the donations. Um, I'm sorry I'm not paying attention to them. I will normally pay attention to them on like the actual live nights. But this is, this is for me to learn. This is focus code, focus. I always get distracted so quick. All right, let's head over to Roblox, not games. I need to go into d developer. Then I need to go into uh, library. And then I need, um, let's see, lucky block texture. Lucky block texture. Lucky block texture. And we're looking for decals. Oop. Opa. Lucky block. Lucky block texture inside the decals. There it is. Yay. There's a purple lucky block. I could use that one. Shall we use that one? Let's. So I click on it. There's the texture ID. And let's just do a paste in there. Enter. Ooh, nice. Uh, so that's a that's really big, and it's offset and not centered. Um, let's see, studs per tile. We're doing one, one and one. 
Um, I guess we could do three and three. Ooh, nice. Okay. So let's lower this down some. Lower this down some. Like that. Lower that. No, that's too much. Maybe like that. Maybe like that. I don't like that little shadow over there at the side. Is there an offset? I bet there's an offset. What if we did four and four? Four and four. There we go. You know what? It's close, but not close enough. I'll have to come back in and make my own or something. There we go. Cool. That'll work for now. Why not? So um, now let's make this thing do something. So let's enter a script. Insert object. Script. This is going to be a server side script. Do, 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 do. And let's say um, script dot parent dot uh, dot touched. We're going to connect give coin. All right. So what does give coin do? We're going to have to Oh no no not give coin give token so um, first things first is let's add a variable call it local um, can give equals one this will give us a thing called debounce um, so if you walk onto an object the game is going to start registering hey it got touched it 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 touched touched touch 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 every time you step on it every second that you're standing on it it's going to keep registering that so we need to register the first touch and then turn it off so that's what this does um let's call let's see it's called local function um give token and then parentheses PLR, which is going to stand for player. We don't really, I should say player, player as proper text. There we go. And then um, let's see if we'll check that bounce first. If can give, then can give equals zero. That'll turn it off. Um, player, player dot leaderboard what was the other one leaderboard leaderboard leader stats okay so leader stats is attached to player um do, 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 do. leader stats dot tokens dot value okay so player dot leader stats dot to tokens dot value equals player all right this is really <laughs> okay let's do this local p l r equals play oh, no token let's call it token token equals player dot leader stats dot tokens yeah that's it now we can just say token token dot value equals token dot value plus one one and then we want to do a wait and let's just say for like 10 seconds uh, oh we need to find out what this object is. So I'm going to say local this 
equals script dot parent. So that'll that'll tell us, hey, whatever object this script is in, I'm going to call it this. So we're going to say this dot transparency equals one. That will make the whole thing disappear. Then we're going to say uh, after 10 seconds, this dot transparency equals zero. Whoops, that's minus zero equals equals zero. And then we are going to say can can give equals one. I think that sounds right. Let's run it. I have no clue if that's going to work or not. Uh, let's go to view output. Uh, cannot write to data store from studio if API access is not enabled. Okay, so that's what's going on. Uh, leader stats is not a valid member of part. Okay, hit stop. Oh, actually, let's hit play. And let's go look inside players. Code primate. I should have leader stats right there. Tokens. So I have leader stat tokens on me. That's what causes it to appear up here at the top left. I'm just going to give myself 10. Boom, done. So I need to enable API, otherwise we're not going to be able to save. Cannot write to data store from studio if API access is not enabled. Stop. How do I enable API? Ooh, the code, the time is 42 minutes. Okay. Um, let me enable this real quick. I just want this to be able to save because I meant to do this yesterday, but I want it to be saved. I want it to actually save today. Go back over to development. Go into code primate labs and let's go to configure this place. We need to go to which one is this? Thumbs access. Um, sell access to this game. You guys want to pay to get into the, the code primate labs? Just kidding. I'm just kidding. I would not charge. Well, not for this. Hmm. In game permissions. No, that's not what it is. Configure this place. There we go. No, that's what I did before, isn't it? Set access to this game. Maximum players. Access to everyone. Builders Club. Allow VIP. Comment allowed. Copyright locked. Yes. So that's not it. Hit cancel. Let's go back into Code Primate Labs. Click. And then configure this game. There we go. Places. No. Created places. Developer products. Nothing. Nothing. How do I enable API? I'll tell you how you do enable it. Google how to enable API on Roblox. I cannot write to data store if studio, blah, blah, blah. Where do I enable API blocks at? Go to the places page, click on the dot, dot, dot menu, and then click on configure this game. Okay, so that's where I'm going. Um, oh, where's Code Primate Labs? Ooh, ooh. Code Primate Labs. There it is. And we're going to click on this place. Configure game. Uh, okay. Or go to develop games, name of your game, click on the gear icon, configure game. Configure game is what I'm in. Okay. I don't see anything about APIs. Okay, you can use create and save place API for creating and save. Check Roblox Wikia for more information. What? Dynamic place creations. That's not what I want. Click here for more information. You do not have any developer products. What? I have tons of developer projects, products. 
Oh, that's not what I meant. Just kidding. Okay, 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 okay. Hmm. So. Let's go check, see if it's in studio. Do I have to go to the workspace and then enable API over here? Allow third party sales, archivable fallen part. Filtering enabled. Yes, turn that back on. Gravity, that's on. Streaming enabled. Yes. All right, let's go to play, F5. Cannot write to data store from studio if API access is not enabled. Okay, everyone. I need to go find out where API access enabled is actually at, unless one of you guys knows inside the chat. Hold on. Let me go look at the chat real quick. <clears throat> my grade is a 95. Code, I made 100% on my Spanish test. Good job. Very good. Okay. <clears throat> Check donations. Check donations. Check yourself, says Kin. <laughs> Dude. Oh, uh, hi, Code. I'm a sub. New LT2 modded. Thank you. Or awesome. Because you sent me a, like a, uh, what, what is it called? It's a promoted message? 50 minutes. <laughs> My YouTube name is Mads. Can I please talk to you after the stream? Um, maybe. I'm going to hop over for um, just a second into my Discord, but only a second, because I still have to record for you guys. So it's going to be just a second. I accept you. Thank you guys so much. All right, guys, let's let's get out of here. Let's do this. Thank you, everyone, for watching this episode of Code Now, which went way over what it was supposed to be. Mm. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below, or if you're on YouTube. Um, if you'd like one of these awesome, not this awesome shirt, if you'd like one of my awesome shirts with my face on it, check out the Hello Juniper link in the description down in the YouTube channel. If you've not been part of the Discord, I do highly recommend that you go over there. Check that out as well. Uh, you can actually talk to me. I'm in there at least twice a day. Um, what else? What else? What else? Hello Juniper. I already said that for the awesome t-shirts and the links. Uh, if you're over on YouNow, Click that become a fan, hit that share button, hit those like buttons, all that stuff that I'm supposed to call out. It's really your choice. You don't have to. I love you guys very much. Have a great night and let's do an outro. Goodbye.